Hello, my friends. Thank you for following me along this journey through our Masterwork season. I'm just so proud to be part of an organization that can lift everyone's spirits so high through music. For our first Masterworks of 2024, we have a program brimming with spectacle and variation. We begin with a huge burst of energy, Clarissa Saad's Bonecos de Olinda. This piece is a tribute to the famous Brazilian carnival where you can picture those giant puppets that tower above the crowds. Those are the bonecos of the title. I think it's just perfect for ringing in the new year together. You know, a number of us in the orchestra actually know Clarice, and not just as the extraordinary composer she is, but as an amazing vocalist and instrumentalist too. She's a great person and a very special artist. Normally you'll find her in New York where she lives, but she sends all of us in Sarasota her warmest regards from Brazil, where she's enjoying a little time with her family. Next, we're honored to present Rachmaninoff's Rhapsody on a Theme of Paganini, one of my favorite pieces. It's with the world-renowned pianist Stephen Huff. Stephen's artistry is mesmerizing. His ability to bring depth and nuance to every note he plays will leave you spellbound, just like it does to all of us in the orchestra. In this piece, Rachmaninoff takes a simple theme, Paganini's Caprice Number no. 24, which if you don't know it by that name, you'd know by the sound of it, and he transforms it through 24 distinct variations, each one a little bit more complex and interesting. This piece is a spectacle of speed over top of beautiful melody, really virtuosic stuff. Really virtuosic stuff. And so you need a pianist like Stephen. Okay, come on, guys. I'm just trying to tell people how to pronounce his name. I'm trying to do him a favor. I mean, I know how that is. <sighs> Finally, we explore the ingenious world of Elgar's Enigma variations. This piece stands in contrast to Rachmaninoff's, where its variations are, I would say, less obviously joined together. Elgar created his variations based on a theme that to this day remains a secret. As you may know, each one is a musical sketch of his closest friends, trying to draw out their individual personalities through the notes and rhythms. In the orchestra, I especially love playing this piece because the work we put in is largely toward differentiating these characters for you and trying to understand how each variation is connected. There's such a subtlety to that, and it's the kind of artistic challenge we all get really excited for. When I think about it, actually, that might be a theme of this whole concert. Assad's carnival scenes, Rachmaninoff's romantic transformations, along with the Elgar, they all use picturesque variations to allow us to become intimately familiar with a theme, even if it's our first time hearing it. In Elgar's case, yes, the connection is hidden, but the clues are fun. So, get ready to celebrate with us. This is the Bonecos of Brazil, the romance of Rachmaninoff, and the enigma of Elgar. Look at that. No hook. Thank you. Miguel Harth Bedoya is conducting us for the first time, and we can't wait to play for you. Happy New Year, everyone. I'll see you there. <laughs>